Might have been Colonial Chief with Sir Gouls and uh, also there Farika. They were followed further back then by Lazarette. Then came Ivory Seeker, Rarify didn't do a great deal. Further back in the field then, Mediocre Lad, followed then by Numbers Game. Then Pandy Sun, still coming in, Shalimar King excels, Princess Seymour, and last home, Eastern Hills. Here's a look at the final stages in Adelaide with, on the outside, change of habit. Despite the fact that he did have that uh, big weight, he battled it out with Linton Star, change of habit carrying 58.5 kilos. Tassie Pegasus having a fairly tough ride, but change of habit and Linton Star battling it right out. It was only in probably about the last 20 or 30 metres that Change of Habits class did tell. And needed were 7, 6, 3 and 3. English Charm, Rubiton, Big Mr Wolf and Bahrain. And for that combination you will receive $634.70. Well if you do happen to receive that amount of money I would say that you could uh, probably invest $9.95 very wisely. And that is for this little publication which has been so much a part of the punting scene for many, many years, Miller's Guide. It's on. Golden Reflection began brilliantly near the inside, bounced out in front of Grand Reward, a moon cutter showing speed. Lockmate is handy on settling down. Dash of Super began OK, but he's drifting back. Caught wide is Blarney Gal. Glenn's choice is out fairly deep, and so is Wright Miss on and the Draper, and Duk Duk is wide, and she's dropping back the second last. Into the back straight, coming up towards the 1200. Moon Cutter's the leader. He's cruising along out in front, leading by a length. Golden Reflection second, and Blarney Gal is a length away third. Right, Missile is nice and handy today. In fact, he's moving up to be third on the outside. He's pulling a shade. And he's out three deep. Grand Reward over on the inside. One to the Draper, then Lap of Victory. Glenn's Choice is caught out fairly wide at the moment. Lockmate next on the inside. One to Star of Armians. Then Duk Duk, who's a long way back. Tie second last dash of Super at the rear. 8.50 metres to go. Moon Cutter clear. He's leading by three lengths. He's sliding away from them now. Moon Cutter three in front of Golden Reflection. At a headaway third, right Missile. Two to Blarney, Gal Grand Reward, Glenn's Choice starting to pick up ground. Then Lockmate and Lapper victory together. Star of Armians, Duk Duk starting to go forward. Then the Draper, tie. Dash of Super at the rear. They come towards the bend now. They've got 500 metres to go. Moon Cutter coming back to them. The grey right missile is cruising up into second place. Glenn's Choice is now tracking him forward, moving to third. Then Golden Reflection, Blarney Gal, and then Lap of Victory and Grand Reward. In the straight, 350 metres to go. Right Missile takes the lead. It's Right Missile in front of Glenn's Choice. Williams the first to get anxious. He went for the whip on Glenn's Choice. Right Missile in front now. He pulls the whip on him. He's clear. Right Missile, two in front. Glenn's Choice on the outside. Duk Duk rattling home at the end, but Right Missile's too good. In fact, is far too good. Right Missile first, Duk Duk second, Grand Reward third, then Star of Armians, Glenn's Choice Lap of Victory, further back dash of Super the Draper, then Moon Cutter, the next one home was Lockmate, and then Blarney Gal Golden Reflection, and Ty was one of the last home. Double to pay. Six, eight and eleven in Brisbane, number six Right Missile, a big winner, second placing two, number eight Duk Duk coming home well, and third, number eleven Grand Reward. Fancy is uh, by Wayne Wilson, six, eight and eleven. After the running of the is not yet cleared. Now it is. Lights on. Away they go. Uh, let's see as they've jumped away. Wolverton Diamond began all, all right. Luck Alive got away well and open to offers going fast on the inside. Impacera was slow. It's about third last early. Luck Alive led open to offers. Wolverton Diamond a half length away. Oh, there's a charge of them here, and Mrs. Soffel makes a line of four a length further back. Then to escape Queen Rich. Look getting up on the fence. Whisket Dawn Royale out wider on the track. Then Ace Trim Impacera has made up some ground about five off the lead still however bundle of roses dreamy sister and uh, Casanora is back near the rear of the field up near the turn they race 400 out luck alive three parts Wolverton Diamond and Mrs. Soffel out wide and they're two or three lengths now to open to offers Impacera starting to run on and they're followed uh, back behind those horses by right aspect into the straight luck alive tackled by Wolverton Diamond Mrs. Uh, on the outside Mrs. Soffel hanging luck alive hanging on Wolverton Diamond having trouble getting to it luck alive holding it at bay it's going to win it's drawing away luck alive it's going to win by two lengths Wolverton Diamond might have lasted the second from the fast finishing bundle of roses a photo between them from open to offers Mrs. Soffel uh, Remwasane is next on the outside then right aspect which never did anything Impacera uh, didn't begin well was never in the race really and then rich look they were followed further back in the field escape queen dreamy sister ace trim uh, back behind them is dawn royale and Cathanora has run last Number 13, Luck Alive. There's a decent old result for the bookie boys. They didn't mind the punters wearing green today. Number 13, Luck Alive. 
one of Gary Hanlon's has won the last race on the program and, and won it well. It's a photo for the minor placings. I think Wolverton Diamond might have just lasted for second. Not a great deal in it, though, with a Bundle of Roses, the other one. They're the two that have, have occupied the placings. I fancy Wolverton Diamond from Bundle of Roses. Now, let's see. Luck Alive is going to pay... Oh, should pay of uh, $30.35. And $5.40 for the place. Now, if Wolverton Diamond, it, well, it's run the place, so it's going to pay 80 cents, and the other one, Bundle of Roses, $3.45. Number one has run the second, Wolverton Diamond, at $3.80, at, uh, and third, Bundle of Roses, $3.45. Well, it's, uh, for, uh, given the run of the race for second and third, Bundle of Roses having its first start went on pretty well in the final race on the program. You're looking at the uh, the should pays, the over the lines there, and uh, they've run the last six, last 845 five. So, oh gee, they're pike. Uh, no wonder Wolverton Diamond had trouble picking it up. Here's Peter Donegan. Thanks, Bill, and a quick goodbye to uh, Jenny Chapman and Roy Higgins. Horse to follow in one word. Jenny. Um, I've got two. Princely Heart over a bit more ground, and also the last horse there, well, not the last horse that ran third, Bundle of Roses. Just keep uh, following Rubiton, you can't go wrong. OK, we'll look forward to seeing both Jenny and Roy next Saturday. We've got the last coming up from Sydney at 5 o'clock, and we'll be back for that. So stay with us in about three minutes' time. During Fame, the last from Sydney. Final event at the Valley, 13 Luck Alive, $30.35 and $5.40. Wolverton Diamond, 80 cents. Bundle of Roses, $3.45. Cornella, $54.50. Trifecta, $4,445 even. Now, the quad extra this afternoon at Mooney Valley on the number 633 and 13. 633 and 13 paid $11,630.60. Now, they're just about ready for the running of the final event at Warwick Farm in Sydney, and then we'll be going back to fame. And a Daniela coming up. One or two riderless behind the gates. And uh, one of the last to move in will be Blockborough. She's not very anxious to go in at the moment. As I said, we will be taking you back to fame after the running of the final event in Sydney this afternoon. So, not too long to go. And as I mentioned before, We'll have a full wrap-up of the sport tonight in seven national news with uh, Sandy Roberts taking a look at all the football details and all the sporting details from around the world. And Bill Collins will be here to take a look at uh, all the races from Mooney Valley this afternoon. Now, whilst we're waiting on uh, Sydney, the last couple moving forward, we'll take a look at the scene there at the stores. Spinnaker Bay, Soda Springs and the Cloisters move in. Starter is coming around to the platform for the final event, the Silver Shadow Stakes. It's over 1,200 metres. Feminine Ways is the scratching. A field of 17. Here's Ian Craig. Young horse she was to Silver Shadow. She was trained by uh, Tommy Smith. Now, Spinnaker Bay just about right. St Clair's been standing well. Superfecta Pool 615 and a half thousand now. Now, rider on uh, LA Sauvage was mom momentarily out of the saddle. John Marshall, hello, Golden Unicorns, red has lunged forward, has almost come through, has half dislodged Malcolm Johnston, and the starter and his assistant have come over and snapped the front of the stores closed. Everything's okay. Well, for a moment I thought there was going to be real problems with Golden Unicorn, but uh, she didn't get that high. And probably Malcolm half bailed out, I'd say. 